today I want to share with you how to cook a turkey breast in the Instant Pot the right way. I called the folks at Instant Pot and learned a couple of tips and tricks that I want to share with you today. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, sourdough, ferments, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click on the little notification bell below. That'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, I love the idea of doing a turkey breast in the Instant Pot because if, th if at Thanksgiving you're entertaining a small amount of people, this is perfect. But if you've got a big crowd and you've got one turkey in your oven, having this extra turkey meat is perfect. If you've seen some of my other Instant Pot videos where I make a whole chicken in the Instant Pot and I make bone broth in the Instant Pot, you know I always like to call the Instant Pot company first before I start. So before starting to, to cook this whole uh, turkey breast, I gave them a call and they walked me through uh, the best way to do this and I want to share that with you. Now I've got an 8 quart Instant Pot here, but you can also do this in a 6 quart Instant Pot. But the tip that I want to share with you is when you go to the grocery store, take your insert with you and see what size turkey breast will fit in, in the uh, container that you have, the insert that you have. That'll prevent a lot of problems. So that's what I did. I took that with me to the grocery store and I made sure that this could fit in there uh, before I purchased it. The next thing that you want to do if you're new to working with the Instant Pot is to make sure that you have some liquid in there. And for the 8 quart uh, Instant Pot you need to have a minimum of 2 cups of water. And so that's what I'm putting in, just 2 cups of water. If you have the 6 quart Instant Pot then you want to go ahead and put in a cup and a half at a minimum of water. Now I learned from the folks at Instant Pot that in cooking a whole turkey breast you want to cook this for eight minutes per pound. And this is seven and a half pounds. So eight times seven and a half is going to give me 60 minutes. So I'm going to want to cook this for one hour. And they said to cook it on high. And the next thing I want to share, which I thought was very interesting, is if you stuff the cavity with anything, the cavity of this turkey breast, it does not change that eight minutes. Unlike in roasting a, a turkey in the oven, if you stuff it, that usually means that you're going to have to cook it longer. But in the case of cooking this in the Instant Pot, you can put anything you want in the cavity. It's not going to change those eight minutes. And the tip that I think is the best when it comes to cooking any kind of poultry with skin in the Instant Pot is to put a dry rub on the skin. If you've seen my Instant Pot video where I cook the whole chicken and I put a dry rub on, it looks so appetizing and it actually creates a crust. Now it's not a super crisp skin as if uh, similar to, you know, if you had roasted it in the oven, but it actually has a crust. And in that video, I show you where I scrape the knife uh, on the skin, that it's not mushy. And it's very attractive uh, when you bring it to the table, very appetizing. So we're going to do the same thing with this turkey breast. And what I've got here is the seasoning blend that I, that I want to mix up and put on this breast. And I'll take a close-up picture so that you can see this. But what I've got is two teaspoons of sea salt, a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, just about an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and then I've got two teaspoons of ancho chili powder. That's like my favorite right now. And then I've got two teaspoons of paprika. But you can use any mix you want. If you like more traditional flavorings, you can use like a Bell's uh, poultry seasoning. And if you can't find that in your store, it comes in the little bo yellow box with the turkey on front. Uh, I have a video, which I'll link to in the iCards, where I show how to make a homemade version. Uh, but today, I'm going to do something just a little more, a little more southwest here, since I live in, in Texas, a little Tex-Mex maybe, uh, flavorings. So what I'm going to do is just mix this up with my hands, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to rub a little in the cavity and then in the cavity, I'm going to put in some onions. And as I said, as I learned from the folks at Instant Pot, no matter what I put in the cavity, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change that eight minutes per pound. So let me get that nice and mixed. And I'll go ahead and just rub some of that 
in the cavity. And what's nice about putting a good amount of seasoning on your turkey or, or a chicken, if you're doing a chicken, uh, it, you're also going to get a nice broth from those two cups of water that we put in here, or the cup and a half, depending on what size Instant Pot you're using. And at least, and I'm guessing that it's going to be the same with this turkey, uh, because when we did the chicken, the broth was delicious. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my onions. I'm putting them with the skins on. Nothing fancy. The skins have a lot of nutrition in them, so I like to leave the skins on, uh, and that will leach into the broth and make it uh, even more nutritious than just with onions without the skins on. Now I'm just going to put this dry rub all on the outside of this beautiful turkey breast. Now you want to get your rack and transfer your turkey breast onto the rack and then we'll get ready to lower it down into the Instant Pot. And now right down into the Instant Pot. Now the next thing that we want to do is just put our lid on here. You'll hear a little music if you're new to the Instant Pot. Then you're going to want to lock it. Now, one thing I want to mention, as I said, if you're new to working with the Instant Pot, this was something that I found very odd. There's a little vent here, and I'll take a picture and I'll overlay, overlay it so you can see it up close. It, on one side it says venting, and on the, other, on the other side it says sealing. Now, when you do pressure cooking, you want to seal it. And it really, it, the knob just lowers and raises. There's no click or anything special. And I was really thinking, oh, there should be some like firm click or something, but there isn't. So that's like just a little tip I wanna share with you if you're new to it. So here it is raised on venting. We're just gonna turn it to sealing and it just lowers and sealing as in making it sealed, not this sealing. <laughs> and so you have it on sealing and then now we're all set to put in our time. Now on my Instant Pot, it has a selection for pressure cook. And so I'm gonna click that or press that pressure cook. Right now that's on 40 minutes. I have to turn this up to 60 minutes because my turkey breast is seven and a half pounds and eight pounds per minute. So we'll get that up to 60 minutes or, or one hour. And then we wanna make sure, yep, the pressure level is already on high. So we're set. And now it'll just start, there it goes. It's all set. So in an hour, it'll be ready and we'll check it and see how it is. Well, I let the steam release and now I'm gonna open the Instant Pot and we'll see how this turkey came out. Oh, it looks glorious. Now let me take this out, being very careful. Perfect. Oh, it looks wonderful. And I have to tell you, as I was taking it out, I could feel that it's so uh, falling off the bone tender. Literally, when I transfer this to the plate, it's going to be falling off the bone. Well, this is just glorious, and the aroma is wonderful. Now, before we slice into this, I just want to give this broth a taste. The color is glorious. I'm, you know, I'm actually going to take a picture and overlay it so that you can see. Yeah, the color is just beautiful. A beautiful golden, um, luscious looking. And the aroma, this combination of spices is just wonderful. Let me give this a taste. It's very hot. Mmm. Oh, that's got a terrific turkey flavor. This is really good. Alrighty, now, this skin is, I think it's somewhat appetizing because of the uh, rub. Now, this does not have as much of a crust as when I did the chicken. And I think the reason is that this had to go an hour, whereas my chicken was a lot smaller. And so it didn't have to cook as long in the Instant Pot because in essence, you're steaming it under pressure. But uh, some of the areas like here, that's the actual meat uh, where uh, that was exposed and not covered by the skin. But it, all things considered, I think it's wonderful. And in an hour, well, let's give this a slice. I have to tell you, when I was slicing this, it literally was just falling off the bone. It's so tender. Well, let's give it a taste and see how it is. Uh, it's so moist. 
Mmm. I'm always so impressed with how moist and tasty and tender poultry comes when I cook it in the Instant Pot. I highly recommend doing this, even if just as a dinner meal, for in an hour you can have a beautiful turkey breast, or in addition, uh, if you need extra white meat for Thanksgiving. It's perfect. Well, I hope you'll give this a try. And if you'd like to learn more about traditional nutrient-dense cooking, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and then click on this video over here where I have a playlist of my Instant Pot recipes. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.